Hi right, guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in the end times down here at the sunset dock in uh, Dutton Allen, Florida. Can you see the, these are the sand hill cranes. So uh, what that is, I guess that's the probably can't see that third crane but I guess the third crane is last year's baby and mama and daddy are getting ready to kick baby out of the out of the nest so they can have more babies uh, will not be a happy crane so who do we got over here we've got the uh, that is a great white heron that is not a that is not an egret. That is the great white heron. Nope, just got him something. All right, damn it. Of course, I just pulled the camera right when he got that fish. So we're just hanging out here, me and the little dog and the birds, thinking of, you know, just thinking of the goddamn bullshit that humans go through being humans that uh, these birds, uh, you, you know, the, the birds, biggest thing they have to deal with is living with fucking humans but being a human the worst thing that you have to do is living with other humans so I'm trying to think of uh, how successful my day has been so uh, one thing I'm dealing with is all of these goddamn outlets popping out all over the the trailer, these electrical outlets going in and out, in and out, and working one day and not working the next day and all this shit. So first we uh, deal with that and the uh, electrician, he basically throws his hands up in the air and says, I have no idea, basically we're living in the twilight zone. He has no clue how to explain what's going on with the wiring in this trailer. So I talked to another fellow, and he uh, suspects rats, and that a goddamn rat has chewed into a wire somewhere along a 53-foot trailer that the fucking rat. Uh, Lord, dealing with that, so uh, get tired of dealing with that shit. So I just thought, okay, I'm on, uh, it's finally time for you to go uh, buy this nice-looking couch and, uh, and sofa bed. You know, it folds out to a nice bed. So they've had this beautiful couch, sofa bed, whatever you call those things, hide beds I guess, up there at the, at the thrift store that's been there. I know it's been there for three weeks. $80 price tag on the thing. I just haven't had time. So I finally decided today is the day I'm going to fuck with that couch. So I call them at about 9 o'clock this morning and I ask them if they still have the couch. Oh, yeah. It's still sitting here. And I said, well, uh, I, I said, do you have someone who's going to help can help me load the damn thing up you know it's just a couple of little old ladies oh yeah there'll be someone here to help you get that thing in your truck and all this and i said well uh, dealing with some electrical issues here in this trailer but i'll see you probably around 11 o'clock this morning so i pull up right at 11 o'clock so I got, you know, I cleaned the whole back of my fucking truck out to, to put this couch in there. I drive out to the goddamn thrift store to pick up this couch. Open the front door. There's the couch right where it's been. Just sitting there where I was expecting it to be. So I walk up to look at it. And right in the middle of this center cushion, there is this sign on it. Sold hold for pickup so i say to the damn woman you know who i just spoke with on the phone two hours ago and i said you i said are you telling me that you sold 
the, the couch? And, and and she goes, yeah, we sold it about 20 minutes ago. And, and I said, what the fuck, lady? Uh, I said, I called you at 9 o'clock. said, I told you I was coming up to get that couch, and I'd be there at 11 o'clock. It's five minutes to 11. Here I am to get the couch. And she's going, well, sir, she goes, well, I thought you were the person who called about the couch. I thought I would just sold it to the person who called about it. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, note to self, whenever you do something like that, give them your fucking name and your credit card number or something. So, anyway, I lost the fucking couch and all that goddamn time and energy. So, but I had bigger fish to fry. I didn't care. Cause, so, I have been, a, I mean, all the little details of my real estate fantasies are not important. But anyway... I have uh, been working on this uh, th this lot I'm thinking about putting in an offer on. Even though the lot's not for sale, I'm thinking about uh, trying to buy it. So I'm trying to work out this thing with the county uh, concerning the lot. As I say, the details of this aren't important. So I, I, I study the issue, you know, with the county uh, uh, about this lot, and, I, and I'm going on their website, and I'm reading, and I said, well, this is all looking pretty good, uh, that this that, that this is going to work, That's, uh, and, and so I called them, everything, I, I mean, all the boxes checked on their website, so I call them this morning, this very friendly woman at the county, answer the phone so we have this long conversation and i and, and we go through this and she's going down this punch out list and everything is fine and uh i'm thinking after the fucking couch you just need to get down there and deal with it and i said can i come down there right now and start this process and she she said yeah we're open to five i hop in the fucking car I drive all the fucking way to to the goddamn, uh, you, you, you know, the planning department in fucking Citrus County. Drive all the way down there. You, you know, I bring in all of this shit that she told me to bring along with me. And, and, and we sit down and start talking. And from, from minute one, everything is perfect. Everything is going along. Now she said this is going to cost you probably between a thousand and fifteen hundred dollars, and take a couple of months. Uh, she goes, obviously, I can't promise you that we're going to approve your harebrained scheme, but she goes, I, it, it's it's nothing out of the ordinary, and and uh, your harebrained scheme sounds pretty reasonable to me. So. Uh, I'm thinking, okay, I guess so. I, I figure it's worth the money and the time uh, to put into this. And uh, so she gives me the application. And we start going through the application, and, and then something triggered something. After all of this, and, and, and then I get, well, I guess it's not exactly a look it was a catch in her voice, the old bureaucrat catch in your voice, you know, where, where they get this kind of puzzled, furrowed brow, and, and, and they all of a sudden notice something, and they go, well, blah, 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 to fill in the fucking blanks, and everything fucking fell apart. Everything fell apart <laughs> after all of this shit. Uh, it, it, you know, it, it was just like last week with that lot I was trying to buy. I had a fucking uh, verbal acceptance from the seller. Get up the next morning, call the fucking title company. Uh, and, and, and you can hear it in the fucking voice. And, and, and I just about said, so this was an attractive young woman I was dealing I just about said, I need to speak to the oldest white woman who works in this fucking county. But I didn't. I, I said, uh, I, I, I said, you know, 
uh, what the number one, the number one rule of real estate, and pretty much anything else. If something sounds too good to be true, it's because it is. It, it, it doesn't matter if it's a fucking couch for sale, if it's a, a goddamn thing in real estate where you think you're getting some sort of free pass from, from, from the fucking county planning department and, and uh, everything is going too smoothly. You're on there and goddamn pile of fish and you, you know, and you finally meet somebody uh, who, uh, did I even tell the story about this, this little hottie I was finally talking to on pile of fish and everything was going great for a couple of days? And then I asked her where she is. She says she's in fucking western Tennessee driving to, uh, she's in western Tennessee heading to Colorado. And uh, I said, I'm going to take a wild guess that our date is off. So uh, I have accomplished exactly nothing since I got out of bed this morning. Uh, but uh, I am accomplishing uh having a goddamn margarita in front of this gorgeous sunset over the end times, and that is really all that matters. I should have just stayed here on this fucking dock all day today. I should, I should have never gotten out of this chair from my cup of coffee. <clears throat> anyway, that's been my day. Uh, <laughs> if it sounds too good to be true there is one reason that's because it is it is too good to be true what do you think mr bird is it too good to be true this was that great white hair and hey okay catch us another fish show us what you got You hear those hoot owls in the back? Come on. You know, these water birds, they're patient is all I can say. They're some patient ass birds. Okay, is he getting ready to go for it? Get it. You can get it. Are you going to get it or not? We just missed you getting the fish a minute ago. You see those circles right off the front. He's after whatever is making those ripples. What is that thing? Get it. Are they going to get it? All right. So what I, <laughs> what I did was I threw a, I hope I got that on there. I threw a blueberry muffin in here, so the little fish have been eating the blueberry muffin. And uh, while they were busy eating the blueberry muffin, he was busy eating them. It is eat or be eaten. If, it, if that blueberry muffin looks too good to be true, I was just sitting here floating around, swimming around, and uh, suddenly a blueberry muffin dropped out of uh, the universe and uh, you're sitting there eating your blueberry muffin thinking you just scored and you get eaten by a giant predator <laughs> oh god but anyway I'm gonna get back to my margarita okay he's coming back for more of these blueberry muffin fish. Get out there and very carefully eat your blueberry muffin. And if it sounds too good to be true, it's because it is. Okay, he's coming back. He's going to get him another blueberry muffin fish. Okay, I fed you one fish with that blueberry muffin. Well, you gotta get a lot closer to the to the water than that, dude. Well, 
time I think it's 22 degrees and snowing at Bugs in a Jar Farm right now as I'm sitting here drinking a margarita at sunset watching the birds go fishing. Pile of fish. Okay, this bird's coming to get him a pile of fish. Where are you? That sound is the sand hill cranes. Okay, he's coming back up to the blueberry muffin fish. Okay. Get it. Get it, that's a blueberry muffin fish. I think they've pretty much eaten the muffin. But he thinks he can get him another blueberry muffin fish. You know, all the fucking bullshit that we put up with, and this is what it's all about. Sitting there having my doomsday margarita. Watching the birds go fishing. Okay, it's starting to ripple. Get out there. There he is, get out there. Come on. He's right there. What the fuck is this bird doing? Come on, bird. What does this bird want? The damn fish was right in front of him. Okay, here he comes. Get the goddamn fish. <laughs> this is like me on on pile of fish every night. This is what I look like. Waiting for my next fish. Alright. Alright. Man, that's a big one. Look at that fish. The fish is too big for him to eat. <laughs> okay, you scored. You thank me for that fish. Mr. Mr. Heron. Hello. The fish is too big for him to swallow. I threw a blueberry muffin in here. The blueberry muffin floated across with all of these fish hitting it. So he nailed one of them, so then he came back for the fish hitting the blueberry muffin, and, and he, now he can't swallow the thing. Man. A little chilly out here, but it's a beautiful sunset. Yeah.